Hey guys, it's me again, and this time we are in Heroic Halls of Lightning. Um, this is considered one of the harder dungeons in Wrath of the Lich King. I find it pretty fun. So this is the group layout. It was a full pug, I believe. Nope, looks like we have some people in the same guild. Alright, so anyway, this is the first boss. Um, he's pretty easy. The first thing you want to know about him is that he's like a warrior. He has defensive, battle, and berserker stance. Second of all, when you encounter him, you want to kill the adds first. It doesn't matter which ad you decide to kill first, but you have to kill them both first so it makes the boss fight easier. But while you are killing the adds, you must pay attention to what stance the boss is in. He will start off on, in defensive stance, and then soon after he will switch into berserker stance, I believe, which is the hardest of the two, of the three stances. So as you see there, he just turned into Berserker stance. And once he does that, you want to watch out for the Whirlwind, which he will shortly cast. And because it does a lot of damage, and it will probably kill you. So there you see goes his Whirlwind as we finish the last mob. The tank should be moving also during this Whirlwind, just to be safe. But other than that, um, the fight is simple. Once you once you've uh, passed the whirlwind, it's pretty much all good from there. He'll just go into battle stance after a couple minutes, and then it's just safe sailing, I guess. It's really easy after that. Once you finish this boss, you'll encounter a room where you will have to take all the adds to the stairs, and you cannot stop because they have a 20 second respawn timer. And you don't want to go up further because there's mobs on the corners of the stairs, but you want to kill them on the stairs. And they also, when they die, they have an AOE, so you don't want to stand on them. So this second boss, um, don't want to hold on, don't want to stand on them when they die, if you understand. But this second boss is quite easy. Every 20%, he will go run to his anvil, where he will spawn two or three um, golems, and w and y the tank should be holding aggro on these guys. You can decide to kill them. You cannot. It doesn't really matter. You can actually out DPS the boss faster than these uh, ads sh will go down. But eventually he will, if you don't DPS fast enough, he will actually freeze the golems and then he will do something called Shatter Stomp. What that does is it destroys and explodes all the golems that are frozen and they do a lot of damage when they die. So if you're beside them then you're most likely going to take a lot of damage and maybe even die. Once you finish this guy, you'll uh, encounter a room where you step in the middle and the two or three of the guys from the walls will actually come in and attack you. And one thing to know with these guys is they fear, so you may be pulling even the next set of uh, wall mobs, as I call them. This is the third boss, and it is quite easy, actually. Um, one thing to know is that this boss will cast something called Static Overload, I think. And what that does, yeah, Static Overload. And what that does, it does, I think, 1,200 damage per second for 6 seconds. So you might want to keep a heal on that person that has it. The second thing the boss does is Disperse, which he just did right there. And what that does is it changes the boss into, I think, 6 or so of these sparks. And these sparks do a lot of damage, so you want to just run away from them. The safest place to go is really down the stairs and to the wall. Um, because the reason you want to do this is because they do a lot of damage and they actually immune to all attacks so you cannot kill them but after that it's just rinse and repeat you just don't want to get hit by the sparks of um, Ionar I believe which is the disperse phase and keep heals on the person with static overload Upon finishing this boss, you'll encounter a room where you have to face golems. And the thing about these golems is that they do something 
that's basically another whirlwind and when they do that you want to get out of the way because it does so much damage it will kill you in about two seconds and as you see this guy is doing it so I have to run away and it's about a five second cast I think so you just want to get out of the way because that will demolish you it can even kill a tank so um, don't stand near that or you will most likely die And this next video here is just of this r whole room. It looks pretty cool to me, I don't know. All these planets and the cool designs looks pretty hella tight. And this next thing is the final boss. And what you want to do with this boss is actually be coordinated because this is a pretty coordinated fight. Um, so what you have to do is you have to stack on the boss because the farther away you are from the boss, the more damage you take because uh, he does a dot or he has an aura and the farther you, away, farther you are away from the boss the more damage you'll take so you want to be as close to the boss as you possibly can but once he starts to cast lightning nova you want to get out of range of that so you can either go behind one of these pillars down the stairs or just take it um, it does have a range I think 20 yards maybe so you just want to get away from that but you can actually heal through it now with people's gears being 25 men next around us and so on but um, I pref I'd prefer when I'm in a group, I prefer people run away just to be safe. But that's it, basically. Just run away from the Lightning Nova and be as close to the boss as you possibly can. Alright, so that's the whole video, guys. Good luck in this dungeon. Um, see you next time.